Our first guest tonight, his career spans time and multiple multiverses. He went from short round in Indiana Jones to Oscar winner for Everything Everywhere All at Once. You can see him now in season two of Loki on Disney+. Plus. Please welcome Kihi Kwan. <laughs> It occurs to me that most of the time I see you, you're in a tuxedo. Yes, yes. So oh, Jimmy, I got to tell you this. Uh, what? When I got here today, I was so happy. Uh, I remember the first time I was here. I walked down your hallway, uh -huh. and I saw all these wonderful, wonderful pictures of you and your, you know, and all of your guests. Right, right, yeah. And I remember thinking at that time, wouldn't it be great if one day I came here and I saw my own picture with you up on the wall? Well, I got to show everybody this. This is the coolest thing. I walked by you today, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah, I'll hold it up. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. OK, there you are with your own picture. Now, that's right after you won the Oscar. Yes. Can we? Now what we'll do is maybe we'll print this and put it in a frame, and the next time you come, <laughs> You do another one, it'll be well, like looking into infinity, you know? I, I was hoping that now I took a selfie with it and I have proof that it's up on the wall that the next time I come in, I want to see a, a little plaque that says, do not remove. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you mind if I go through the rest of your pictures? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I have a lot of great no selfies. No one should ever hand me yeah. their phone. All yeah. I have is bad thoughts. <laughs> uh, but last time I saw you, it was about midnight. I was leaving a party after the Oscars, going home, and you were just arriving at the party with like 100 family members, yeah. it seemed like. Yeah. Wow, Jimmy, you remember that. I do remember you that. You have great memories. Yeah, I, I, I do have a big family. It was family. only two months ago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you but, know, I, I have a big family. My, my parents have nine kids, uh, I, you know, and uh, I, I have like more than 20 nieces and nephews. Wow. Uh, more than 20 grand nieces and nephews. I was an uncle when I was 10 years old. So, you know, when Loki season two came out on Disney Plus and it was one of the most watched shows on Disney Plus. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta tell you, my family is responsible for a lot of those views. I so. see. <laughs> and, the, and the younger ones must be especially excited to have you part of a Marvel, the Marvel universe. I'm a cool uncle now. I would think so. So when I see them, I get like big hugs, which is great. Yeah. You were already a cool uncle. Where do you draw the line, though, as far as, like, the family goes, as far as who gets to come to the parties and stuff with you? Is it, like, because you had nine siblings. That's too many for any vehicle. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's, you know, it's, well, the benefit of, of having a big family is that, you know, they're very supportive yeah. of me. In fact, let me tell you, I just did a movie, uh, and it doesn't come out until next year. Well, my family is already in line buying all the tickets. So, <laughs> you know, uh, but it, it's really cool. It's really cool. My, I love my family. Do you very... show the, the little ones, like Goonies? Do you say, like, oh, wait, do you see me as a kid? And then do they understand that that's you? Well, you know, for a long time, they've only seen two movies in their lives, Indiana Jones and Goonies. <laughs> now, now they've seen everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh -huh. They've seen Loki. So, wow. yeah. You are, oh, and another kid thing, uh, you, you posted, you had just been on the, you posted uh, from Disneyland, from the Indiana Jones ride, which you'd never been on before. Uh, well, I have, but oh. uh, it was when, when, you know, we were celebrating the success of, of Everything Everywhere. My Goonies brother, Jeff, who is a member of the exclusive, you know, Club 33, and he wanted to take me there and, and, and celebrate. And of all the rides that we can go on, he picked, you know, the Indiana Jones ride. Now, when you say your Goonies brother, Jeff, you mean who? Uh, Jeff Cohen, AKA Chunk. He played Chunk. Yeah. And then now he is, he's a lawyer, right? Yeah, he's a lawyer and he's my lawyer too, so, yeah. <laughs> Chunk does, is your lawyer. All, yeah, he's, he's my lawyer and he's a great lawyer. He does all my deals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, is like Corey Feldman your doctor? Is it? Uh... <laughs> So he did, wow, that's something. And is he, when did, how long between like working together and that happening, 
Well, how much time elapsed, or did he pick up right there as like a nine-year-old lawyer? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he was always like great at at you know um, the law. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> negotiating. Oh, he was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? You noticed that even as a child, that he was good at negotiating? Yeah, yeah. He always get him, you know, was always good at getting himself out of trouble, so. I see, I see. Like, who gets the most Skittles at the craft service table? Yeah. <laughs> so when you go to these uh, parties, and like, well, like, even just at the Oscars, you run into Steven Spielberg, and this is a guy you worked with. I mean, he was an adult when you worked with him. You were a kid when, I mean, it must be, is it, is, how does it feel to see somebody that you worked with when you were a child? It's an experience most of us don't get, somebody like Spielberg or, or Harrison Ford. Well, you know, it, it's great. I mean, he, you know, I'm, I'm an actor because of him. Uh-huh, right. So uh, on, you know, one of the most memorable nights of my life, you know, the Oscar night when, mm -hmm. when we won, uh, it, you know, I could not have asked for a more perfect night because my family, my own family was there, my brother, my wife, uh, my Goonies brother, Jeff Cohen were there. Mm -hmm. But it was also really cool to have my first movie family there with me. You know, Steven Spielberg was there, Harrison Ford was there. And I remember after I won, uh, I went up to Steven during the commercial breaks and I said, Steven, I, I hope I make you proud tonight. Uh, and, uh, And he, and, and, and he said something really sweet. He said, uh, Key, you have always made me proud. Uh, oh, and, that's and very sweet. And brought tears my eyes right away, so. Oh, yeah. Are you a crier in general? Are you... I, I, not, not, not when I was younger. Uh, I think I've cried uh, more so in the last two years than my entire life. So. From happiness, you mean? From happiness. Those were happy tears. Yeah, yeah. Well, those are the best tears. Well, we're going to take a look at a, a clip from Loki. It's on Disney Plus Season 2. Kihi Kwan is with us. We'll be right back. Oh, hey. Welcome to RNA. Good. We're in the right place. We have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you. Mobius! Wow! Great to see you again! Good to see you, too. Yeah, I... Loki, I want to introduce you to... I'm Ouroboros. Nice to meet you, Loki. That is Kimmy Kwan in season two of Loki, which is on Disney Plus right now. And also, is not your. This is not your first Marvel comics. Although technically, it wasn't a Marvel situation, but this is the, your second time around in one of these. Yeah, my ones. my first introduction to 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 this universe is uh, right after USC Film School. My first job working behind the camera was on a little movie called The X Men, wow. and uh, and it was during that time that I met a very young man named Kevin Feige who was the, an associate producer at that time. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, like he was just so enthusiastic and so passionate about, you know, the MCU. And, and uh, I, had, I had the most amazing time working with him. And now he's the guy who's in charge of all these, these movies. And so is he the one who calls you about this? Yeah, well, you know, uh, our casting director, uh, um, uh, Sarah Finn, who also happens to be the casting director for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Oh. So she, when she was doing, you know, when she was casting Oral Bros, this character, uh, she saw the movie and called Kevin Feige and says, I think I found the perfect actor to play OB. Uh, and luckily, Kevin agreed. Uh, and one day, my agent uh, told me that, you know, you're going to get a phone call from Kevin Feige. And I didn't know what, what it was about, and, but I was super excited because I've heard about phone calls like that, you know, from, yeah. from, right. from, from a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, and, and sure enough, uh, my phone rang. I picked it up, and I hear, hi, Key, this is Kevin Feige. Um, and he spent 10 minutes talking about how much he loved everything, everywhere, all at once. And he said some really flattering things about my performance. And I was striving at that time. And I, and I was getting emotional because uh, here was one of the, you know, the greatest producers talking about how much he, you know, he loved my acting. And, uh, and I said, Kevin, I'm sorry, can you give me a few seconds? Because I had to pull the car over. I, I couldn't see where I was going. My eyes were, were watering. Uh, and, um, and we spoke for a little bit. And he, you know, he told me about Loki season two. Uh, he told me about Ouroboros. 
and asked me, asked if he needed to. But, you know, as humble as he is, he asked me, he, would you, you know, we would love to have you. Would you like to join the MCU family? Um, wow, that's and, how they say it, huh? Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and I was so excited, and I said, Kevin, I don't think I have it in me to say no to you. Uh-huh. Uh, and we ended the conversation with him saying, Key, if anyone ever asks you, what does it take to be in the MCU? And you tell them it's very simple. All you have to do is be in one of the greatest movies ever made. Uh, and that was, uh, that was how That's I... That's what he said to you? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is... And did he remember your time together when he was an associate producer? Oh, absolutely. He did. Uh, yeah, because I was doing, you know, uh, stunt choreography And this on is X-Men. what? What's happening here? Tell, tell us what's going on in this show. Well, yeah, I was uh, showing Hugh Jackman, uh, you that's know... That's Hugh Jackman. Some moves, yeah. And that's not Hugh Jackman. <laughs> that's is, him right there. This is yeah. stunt Hugh yeah. Jackman. <laughs> this is stunt Wolverine and real Wolverine. And then you uh, getting dangerously close to his Wolver groin. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, the Deadpool, uh, the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie is featuring a lot of cameos from the MCU. Will your character, OB, be a part of that? And by the way, Kevin Feige, I spoke to him, he called me, he said, first of all, welcome to the MCU family. <laughs> okay, secondly, I understand you have Key on the show tonight. <laughs> Tell him it's okay for him to reveal anything he likes. Man. Let me, let me tell you, I wish I, wish I can, uh, you know, uh, uh, say I am or uh, Jimmy. Uh, I'm not in it, but, mm-hmm. uh, but, I, but I'm not. Uh, but, I, but I'll be the first in line to watch it. I'm, I'm you are excited. not in it. I'm not in and it. And this is not going to be one of those situations. This happens to me a lot of times where then <laughs> when they come back and I realize, like, oh, he was lying. And then you go, like, how could he just lie straight to my face? Like, oh, he's an actor. That's actually their job. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I, I, I wish, I wish I was. Uh, I really am, because I, I love those movies so much. Yeah, um, I still think there's a forty percent chance you're. Gonna... <laughs> you um, you uh, <laughs> this is good. Um, you take a lot of selfies with a lot of people. I've seen this in action. I've been part of this. We made you a book of your selfies, so that way you don't have to like scramble to oh your gosh, phone. Oh my gosh! Wow. So you can see these are you know, and you love doing this. Yeah, you, you just like oh, you know, there's Al Roker. We, st- I guess maybe we started alphabetically. I don't know. Um, you got Al. You've got there's us together there. Um, what do we it's have? Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh yeah, your co-stars. You've got Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Putin, <laughs> us together. We got, um, let's see, uh, Paul Mescal there. Uh, There's uh, Tom, sorry, Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston, the, the Loki gang there. We got you and, um, Oh, there's you and Ted Danson and Charles Manson. <laughs> and then Spielberg. So anyway, that's for you. Thank you, thank take you so home much. And your thank nieces you. and this nephews is, can figure out which this ones is really are real. Special. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Kihi Kwan, everybody. Loki season four. We got a business class. We got the bottom.